Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. It is now a beautiful Sunday evening in the end times. Sunday evening, July 16th, 2023, halfway through the summer of the cool, rainy summer of 2023. And I think my battery uh, is getting dark and my battery light is flashing. So I'm just going to, uh, I, I, I apologize for this, but I'm going to beat a dead horse. It's time for a little dead horse beating. But before I start beating a dead horse, uh, I've got to say, guys, when I woke up this morning, if, if anybody had told me that Hambone Little Tail was going to be cheering on and thumbing up both Kamala Harris and in and out burger uh when i rolled out of bed this morning uh 10 hours ago i would have said you have lost your goddamn mind uh <laughs> you know kamala harris and in and out burger there are two peas in the same pod not worth you know 30 seconds of my time and here i am this shows you what a strange time we are living in. I am cheering on Kamala Harris and uh, in and out Burger. So, of course, the Kamala Harris comment, finally, uh, I, I admit, I, I had never heard Kamala Harris's voice. Never heard it. I, I would have, you could have offered me $10,000 and said, who is this speaking? And especially what she said, uh, I, I would have had no fucking clue who this woman was uh, but we all know the quote uh, and I'm somewhat paraphrasing because I don't have my computer here but I, I think Kevin did a, I think Kevin did a rant on this yesterday a full rant where Kamala Harris uh, whether on purpose or not this is what is unclear whether she meant to say this or whether this was a faux pas that reducing the population, when reducing the population will let our children breathe cleaner air and drink cleaner water. Hallelujah. Kamala Harris, the most intelligent thing well, I've never really listened to anything out of that clueless bitch's mouth in my entire life. I have to admit, I've, I've never listened to one thing. Maybe Kamala Harris is a doomer check, and I've just been unaware of it. But Kamala Harris stating the most obvious fact, uh, one of well, probably the, you know, the essential doomer chick line. Someone who is never born will have a environmental carbon footprint with or without grass on it of exactly zero. For every person who is not born, as if as we reduce our population. Uh, there is one way to clean up the air and the water on this planet, and that is to reduce our population. It's that simple. This, is, this, this really is not rocket science that someone who is never fucking born will have a, an environmental, ecological, carbon, whatever you want to call it, footprint of exactly zero. This is, this is like second grade math. Thank you, Kamala Harris, for uh, offering second grade math to us. Okay, guys, we have got to get into some dead horse beating. Okay, so after my two thumbs up and kudos to Kamala, we get to In-N-Out Burger. 
in and out burger uh <laughs> i was uh made aware of this story by this uh doomer adjacent chick jessica wildfire this little breeder jessica wildfire i i admit guys i am not that impressed by jessica wildfire okay She's a, she's a goddamn breeder. She's a corona pussy. She's a mask Nazi. Uh, I, I, I don't know exactly what Jessica Wildfire's Doomer credentials are, but she, she brought this to my attention on Medium.com. But I also see it being played up in the mainstream media today, although I haven't even... I, I did not read Jessica's column after the first two paragraphs when she launched into her Corona pussy mask Nazi horse shit. Uh, that, you know, whenever they crank this shit up, I just tune it out, and then I never even open the mainstream media one. But I, but I guess, with my limited amount of knowledge, there is this uh, hamburger chain, apparently called in and out Burger. I don't eat hamburgers. I have never been to an in and out burger. It's never crossed my mind to go to an in and out burger. In and out burger, like Kamala Harris, has nothing to do with my life. But here we are. In and out burger apparently has a new policy, a no masks allowed policy. And, uh, and, and I got as far into the story that it's that talking about their employees, that in and out Burger has told their employees uh, that you are not allowed to wear one of these fucking masks anymore. Uh, that the planet is ready to move on. Uh, Joe Biden said, when was it? May 11th. The fucking corona panic was over. If Joe Biden said it, it's got to be fucking true. Kamala Harris probably said it too. The corona panic is over. Get on with your fucking life, you fucking corona p pussies and mask Nazis. We're sick and tired uh, 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 of seeing... Uh, th these goddamn fear-strangled sheeple wearing these fucking masks, it harshes our mellow. I don't care where the fuck we are. Uh, you, you know, there's about, what, even in fucking Ithaca, New York, the mask Nazi corona pussy capital of this world, uh, I would say 99 0.8% of people in fucking Ithaca, New York have moved on with this shit. Alright? You know, we're just sick and tired of it. And, and I just absolutely cannot help but love to see uh, when the shoe is on the other foot. Is that, uh, is that the expression, when the shoe is on the other foot? That, that, that all these fucking little mask Nazi corona pussies who ruled the day with their fucking, uh, making these... That is you, Rob, I hope. I, ho I hope this is not an Airbnb, uh, 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 uh this would be... I, I would be in, uh, in deep shit right now if this was Airbnb spy listening uh, to me. I, I, anyway, police. man, I love them and I Wear saw some... <laughs> Yeah, you got to understand, guys, Airbnb has never removed its mask policy. To this day, to this fucking day, I am supposed to be wearing a mask. I am supposed to be requiring every one uh, of the people that come to, uh, to my vacation rental, every person here... I am supposed to make put on a mask. I am supposed to be wearing a mask. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm still un un fucking believable. Uh, and 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 here we are. Where was I before I had a heart attack thinking that that a uh, Airbnb guest I was unaware of uh, was listening in on this. Uh, 
you know, about how the shoe is on the other foot, how how all of these fucking masked Nazi Corona pussies, you know, when they ruled the roost, and uh, when the 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 was it the law or the global corporatocracy, whoever it was, was on their side with with these fucking uh, mandates. Uh, you know, you couldn't go into a fucking In-N-Out burger uh, w without putting on a fucking mask. How, how the fuck are you supposed to eat a cheeseburger with a fucking mask on, you clueless fucking moron? Uh, you, you, you know, it, it's, it's time to move the fuck on. And uh, if, if In-N-Out burger is just saying, well, we, we, we've had enough of this silliness, move the fuck on with your fucking life, people, and, uh, you know, and, and I, I say, I have never, I, I don't think there is an In-N-Out Burger, I don't know if the In-N-Out Burger, is In-N-Out Burger in New York, I'm 99% sure that In-N-Out Burger is not uh, in Ithaca, but uh, if I ever do pass an In-N-Out burger, now, of course, they have to have a chicken sandwich. They all have chicken sandwiches now. So surely In-N-Out burger has a chicken sandwich, but I will. I will. From this point forward, if I'm looking at the fucking usual string, you know, the, the usual fast food criminals out there, uh, I will... Uh, take my money, I will spend my money at In-N-Out Burger to uh, support them with my consumer dollars. And I'm going to go in and find the fucking manager and let him know we really appreciate this. That, that we're, we're, we're sick and tired uh, 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 of these fucking masks. We're just sick and fucking tired of them. Okay. You know, I, I, I'm not saying that you have to say, Hambone, you were right uh, all along from day one. Uh, you were right. Uh, I, I, I don't need to, I, I don't need the pat on the back and the accolades. I simply want to stop looking at these fucking masks. Let me see if this battery is still going. Yep. Unbelievably. And, you, you know, guys, I have to admit that uh, I, I am uh, three years into this. Uh, I, I have to admit uh, me being so triggered by these fucking masks. I, I, you know, why does it bother me so much? Because I'm really not triggered by, by the, the, the whole fucking vaccine thing. I'm, I, I'm really not. If you look at the fucking evidence out there and you think it's in your best interest to get the fucking vaccine, get the vaccine, for God's sake. Uh, you know? Uh, but the thing about the vaccine, I think why I'm not triggered by these vaccine Nazi corona pussies uh, is, you know, the vaccine is hidden. You do it one time, uh, you go in there a one time, or, or if you're a real, a serious corona pussy, you do it, I guess, four fucking times, however many times, but you know what I'm saying, it, it, it's, it's out of sight, okay, it's fucking out of sight, you roll up your sleeve and you do it, uh, then, uh, and then, Hopefully, uh, you go along. You go along with the rest of your life. Uh, I better be tread very carefully through there, and you move along for your life. And surprisingly, uh, you, you know, you don't virtue signal with the vaccine. You know, if you're on these dating sites, you know, you can still virtue signal on all these dating sites with that little cartoon of the shot and uh, talk about uh, how virtuous you are and uh, blah, blah, blah. That's all fine. But by and large, 
uh, you, you, you know, when you're when you're walking down a crowded street or going into a fucking In-N-Out burger for a fucking chicken sandwich, whatever, you don't know who's virtue signaling. You don't know who the who the little fear strangled. Uh, sheeple corona pussies are in, in the room. It's a, like a don't ask, don't tell type of thing. I'm fine with that. It doesn't, it really doesn't trigger me. But these fucking mask Nazis, to this day, it, as I say, it's really even in Ithaca, if, if one out of a hundred people are still so fucking uh, just set in, in, in this fear of this boogeyman, that, that they're so fucking terrified of this whatever, uh, that they're walking around with this goddamn thing. Of course, now uh, they can use the smoke as the, uh, you, you know, as the cover for the mask, I guess. So tomorrow there will probably, so the mask Nazis can come back when the smoke gets back here. But what? Is it? I, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm really try to be a live and let live kind of guy. I have to admit, even though I am a tranny who identifies as a lesbian, even though I am a fucking tranny, I, I, I get triggered by trannies. But I, I guess I, I, what would trigger me more than anything in the world is a fat tranny with a mask on. Uh, it just, you know, what is it? It's just that I'm not attracted to people who live in fear. And there is nothing a mask Nazi, Corona Pussy, is going to tell me they're going to deny up and down that I don't live in fear. There's nothing that I fucking... Uh, mask Nazi Corona Pussy uh, is gonna is gonna mumble through that mask that they're that they're not living in fear that they're following the science. They're living in fear and they're virtue signaling. I am not. It, it is generally speaking, my whole life, I am not attracted to people who live in fear. I am not attracted to people who virtue signal about how holier than thou they are and blah 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 and I'm not uh, and I'm not attracted to these follow the herd sheeple and on every one of those boxes the, these fucking masks uh, it, 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 you know, tick off all three of those boxes. The living in fear box, the, the virtue signaling box, and the sheeple box. And, uh, it, and it's just like a triple whammy. How to keep... Well, I guess I'm still beating this dead horse. Are you a horse, Zancho Bonzo? And, and, and of course, it's, uh, you know, my, my fellow Doomer mask Nazi corona pussies who, and, and I actually, uh, as, as uh, well, I don't know after hearing this, if they can, if they're, if they're still, whether I'm ready to burn more bridges, I think that my fellow Doomers who still, who still, uh, go or, or, or you know going for this mask thing at this point. Uh, I guess our friendship is, is strong enough, but, but you know to survive our difference of opinion. As one of my fellow Doomer buddies had, you know, he wrote in one of his recent essays on Medium that that I don't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck what my opinion of him wearing a mask is. And that, more than anything, gives me respect. Uh, at least I can, you know, if you're a doomer, if you're a fucking mask-wearing corona pussy doomer, and you can at least, 
you, you, you can at least regain some doom and respect by saying, I don't give a fuck, Hambone, what your fucking opinion of me wearing a mask is. And it just as uh, I don't give a fuck uh, what your opinion uh, of me not wearing a mask is. You know, for all I know, this dude likes licorice. I despise fucking licorice. Uh, I, I, I get a fucking chocolate ice cream cone. You get a fucking strawberry ice cream cone. But, uh, the, the, you know, the, this whole fucking, uh, everything about this dead horse. Uh, but, 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 but especially this fucking mass shit. Th th there's not a goddamn thing. Uh, that 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 anybody still clinging to to this hopium of this mask. That's the one. It is that you know doomers. You know we're fucking. We're, we're guys. We're we're talking about billions of people dying. We're talking about global famines. We're talking about nuclear war. We're, 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 we're talking about uh, heat stroke, uh, melting the polar ice caps, the destruction of the Amazon rainforest. You know, we're, we're, we're preaching this stuff. And, and, and then they're the same doomers who are usually... Uh, talking about people, you know, laughing about people clinging to this fucking hopium. And, and, you know, any fucking doomer uh, talking to me about clinging to fucking hopium, uh, talking through a mask, that, that, that some fucking rag around your head is going to... Uh, anyway, uh, good fucking God. And, uh, of course... Uh, you, you know, the, 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 these goddamn fat, fat fucking mask Nazis, at least, at least the Doomer mask Nazis, and, and this I assume, uh, looking at her picture, uh, it would include Jessica Wildfire, at least Jessica Wildfire and my two buddies, my, my, my two main mask Nazi buddies, at least they're, they're not fucking fat ass mask Nazis. You know, the, 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 these fucking fat blobs of adipose tissue talking about following and following the science. I'm wearing this mask because I'm following the science. The, you know, the, the, you're cherry picking the, the fucking science. You know, some fat ass pig uh, wearing a fucking mask telling me uh, with my goddamn BMI of whatever it is, 22, some fucking fat ass clueless moron mask Nazi with a fucking BMI of 35 telling me to put on a fucking mask so I don't give them corona panic. Why don't you, why don't you take your fat ass and get it the fuck out of it? out of in and out burger you know surely jessica wildfire i i i i surely jessica wildfire does not eat at at in and out burger and take her children to eat there i i just i just wonder how many how many mask nazis eat at in and out burger uh, obviously, any fucking mask Nazi corona pussy who eats at a place called In and Out Burger, okay, is so fucking clueless. Uh, follow, why don't you follow the fucking science about what you stick in your fat fucking. Now, these fat ass mask Nazis, I guess I will support them wearing a mask if they never take the fucking thing off. You fat asses, keep the fucking mask on. Sew it to your fucking double chin, your triple chin, you fat, clueless fucking moron. Just sew that fucking mask right across your fat face. Keep it there. <laughs>